Hey guys, the objective for this video is to discuss source and sync flow. So when we're looking at a source and sync, essentially what that is, is it's flow inwards or outwards radially from a point. So you can see here we've got our point here and uh, we're considering a polar coordinate system here because we're considering flow um, about concentric circles and about a point, it makes sense to consider a polar coordinate system. So we've got this radial flow here outwards the point, uh, outwards from the point. Um, this case here, we'd be looking at a source and if the flow was inwards to this point here, we'd be looking at a sink. Um, so along these radial lines, we, we form our streamlines and then there's concentric circles that run um, around this point here, and that is um, our velocity uh, potential lines. So to, what we want to do again is we want to work out the stream function and the velocity potential so we can just sort of describe this flow. To do that, we're going to use the conservation of mass. So we're going to be looking at conservation of mass. And essentially, we're going to consider um, one of these concentric circles Clearly, that's going to have a circumference of 2 pi r, and we're going to take that and multiply by the radial velocity at that point, which is going to be equal to m, which is the volume rate of flow emitting from that line. And from that, we can then rearrange here to get vr equal to m over 2 pi r. So m is actually the... Um, it's, it's, it's that rate of flow, um, and if M is larger, we have a larger rate of flow. If M is smaller,